Today, we're diving into a super useful feature that WhatsApp doesn't natively offer, scheduling messages. Have you ever found yourself needing to send a message at a specific time, whether it's to wish someone a happy birthday exactly at midnight, remind a group about an important meeting, or just send a friendly reminder when you're not available? Unfortunately, WhatsApp doesn't have a built-in feature for scheduling messages. But don't worry, there's a solution to this. With the help of a WhatsApp bot, you can set up your messages to be sent at any time you choose, all without having to be online or remember to hit send. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process, from setting up your bot to managing your scheduled messages. Whether you're new to this or looking for a more efficient way to manage your communication, I've got you covered. So, let's dive in and get your messages scheduled. To start, let's discuss how you can set up your WhatsApp bot. This is the crucial first step in enabling message scheduling on WhatsApp. If you don't already have a WhatsApp bot, don't worry, it's easier than you might think to create one. You can follow along with my detailed guide on creating your WhatsApp bot for free, link is in the description below. Once you've got your bot up and running, it's time to think about how you're going to use it to schedule messages. To do this effectively, you'll need to create a WhatsApp group. This group will serve as your command center, the place where you issue commands to your bot to schedule messages. It's important to add the bot to this group because it's how you'll interact with the bot to control the scheduling process. Think of this group as the cockpit of an airplane where all the controls are at your fingertips. Once the bot is added to your group, you're ready to start scheduling messages. Before you can start scheduling, it's important to understand something called a group JID. JID stands for Jabber ID, which is essentially a unique identifier for every group on WhatsApp. This ID is what the bot uses to know exactly where to send the messages you schedule. Without the correct JID, the bot wouldn't know which group to send your messages to, so it's a crucial piece of the puzzle. To find the group JID, you simply need to type the word JID in the group where you want to schedule the messages. The bot will respond with the group JID for that group. Make sure to note this JID down somewhere safe because you'll need it when it's time to start scheduling your messages. Now that you've set up your bot and obtained the group JID, it's time to get to the fun part, scheduling your messages. Scheduling messages with a bot might sound complex, but it's actually quite simple once you know the steps. Let's walk through the process together. When you're ready to schedule a message, go to your command center group and find the message you want to schedule. This could be any message, maybe a reminder, a greeting, or an important notification. Once you've found the message, reply to it. This is how you'll tell the bot which message you want to schedule. Reply to the message by typing the command set schedule, followed by the group JID, then a comma, and then the time or date when you want the message to be sent. The time format is in 24-hour time, and it's in the format of minutes, hour, day then month. So you'll need to be specific when scheduling. For example, if you want to schedule a message to be sent at 9.09 on the 13th of August, you would type the set schedule group underscore jid 9-9-13-8. The bot will then confirm that the message has been scheduled for that specific time. If you want to schedule a message to be sent daily at a specific time, there's a different command for that. Let's say you want to send a daily reminder at 10 a.m. In this case, you would reply to the message with the command set schedule group underscore jid 0 followed by hyphen then 10. This tells the bot to send the message at 10 a.m. every day, without you having to manually schedule it each time. This is particularly useful for reminders or messages that you want to send on a regular basis. But what if you only want to send the message once, at a specific time, and never again? There's a command for that too. If you want to schedule a one-time message for 10 a.m., you would type set schedule group underscore jid 0 to 10 and finish the command with the word once. The bot will then schedule the message to be sent at 10 a.m. on that particular day, and it won't repeat. This is great for one-off events or notifications that don't need to be sent more than once. Managing your scheduled messages is just as important as scheduling them in the first place. There may be times when you need to delete a scheduled message, whether it's because plans have changed or the message is no longer relevant. Deleting a scheduled message is simple. 
All you need to do is use the command del schedule followed by the group JID, then a comma, and the time or date of the schedule you want to delete. For instance, if you scheduled a message for 909 on the 13th of August and now need to delete it, you would type udel schedule group underscore jid 9-9-13-8. The bot will then delete that particular schedule, ensuring the message won't be sent. In some cases, you might want to delete all scheduled messages for a specific group. This might happen if you're managing a group with frequently changing schedules, and you need to clear out old or irrelevant schedules. To do this, simply type del schedule group underscore jid. This command will delete all scheduled messages associated with that group JID, giving you a clean slate to work with. If you're managing multiple groups and want to delete all scheduled messages across all groups, there's a command for that too. By typing del schedule all, you can clear out every scheduled message in every group the bot is associated with. This is particularly useful if you're making significant changes to your messaging strategy and need to start fresh. As with any tool, there are some best practices to keep in mind when scheduling messages on WhatsApp using a bot. First and foremost, always double-check your schedules. It's easy to make a mistake with the time or date format, and a small error could result in your message being sent at the wrong time. Taking an extra moment to review your schedule can save you from potential headaches later on. Another important tip is to keep track of your group JIDs. Since the group JID is essential for scheduling messages, maintaining a list of these IDs can make the scheduling process smoother and more efficient. It also helps prevent mistakes, like scheduling a message for the wrong group. Finally, before scheduling any important messages, it's a good idea to do a test run. Send a test message to your group using the scheduling feature to ensure everything is working correctly. This will give you confidence that your message will be sent exactly when you want it to be. In this video, I demonstrated the process using a PC, but I want to make it clear that whether you're on your computer or your mobile device, the methods I've shown will allow you to schedule your WhatsApp messages with ease, ensuring you never miss an important moment or deadline. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on more tech tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.